Alright, we are back with the computer over here. It's shut off. And uh, before you do any work with a computer, you need to make sure it's been unplugged from the outlet. So we're going to quickly unplug it. Just because we'll be messing inside and we don't want to get anything going on. So we disconnected it. It's unplugged. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to install the... 4 gigs of memory plus is the other 4, which should be 16. And in the last video, I showed you um, the videos of this. So, before we do anything, like I said, I just did a video on this, uh, this Insidia uh, wristband. So, you can see it's attached. You got that. So, first, you're going to do undo the nuts of the computer itself. Uh, it's important to so you can get inside where everything is. And that just fell somewhere. But that's okay, we don't need that right now. So then we're gonna disconnect this. This is the case that is the computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this to the middle of the outside of the case. Because again, the static is not good for any parts. And see, we can attach it. Can we attach it there? Hmm. Alright. So now it's attached to my wrist, so we won't have to worry about static. Now, in here, we have two memory cards already. And you can see them right here. So pretty much, if I move this a little bit, you might be able to see it with my light a little bit. There you are. Okay. So inside there, you can see now everything in there. So this right here are the memories that are in there right now. This, again, is the new memory that I got the other day, or today, or whenever I really got it. Uh, so this memory is going to go in that slot. So we're just going to zoom back out. Uh, be, uh, again, be very careful doing anything like this. You want to make sure that you have a static, or you are just don't have anything that bad in your pockets as well. So there's the memory. So we're going to do both of these memory cards first, and you got to be very careful. So when you do this, you need to look in your computer, and you need to see which way it goes. And usually it'll only go in one way, and you want to not push too hard. And then it should just go right in to the two slots which of course it's not going in as easy Is it, oh maybe it goes in this way alright and the square for card is very really hot right now my hands are on it Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, didn't hit the top on let lay it done. So again, you want to be very careful with the memory, and it should man there. So it just slapped in. You're gonna make sure it's just in a little bit. And then there's little clamps here that you're going to clamp in. And then that's installed. Oh, the bottom didn't go in. There it goes. Now you just heard that clip. Now we're going to do the second group of memory. So again, you want to make sure you're, you get the right memory. Now I talked to some, I went out earlier to talk to people at stores about how to install memory and they said just make sure you hit this band which now I got 
And we're gonna, hopefully this one will go in easier. Yep, there, there it goes. So, that's installed now. Memory install check. Now, before we do the next one, I wanna make sure this thing powers on. So we're gonna turn on, oh, gotta put the memory back, the hard, the, see, uh, that back in. Then let's see if this turns on. There's the light. So you can see the light. And I think I turned off the... Oh no, okay. So that memory will work. There is the screen, there's the power. So it seems like that worked fine. The next one is gonna be a little bit more trickier. The next one is gonna be the graphic card, which is gonna go right down there. So we're gonna wait for this thing to turn on. And then we're going to shut this thing off and do the next part. So let's give it a sec to boot up because it does take a little bit of time. But now it's got more memory in there than it did a little bit ago. Memory is the easiest thing to install because you, as long as you get the right type, um, and you and you will. Um, in the last video. Um, I mentioned that I had two fours in the machines. It was actually two eights. So that was my question: Is will this work with the eights? It's the same memory card, same memory, and it seems like it is. Um, so that's a good thing. So these packages, I just keep. And let's see. I'm just waiting for the computer to reboot. I'm gonna get my keyboard so I can log in and then shut down. So right now it's just getting to the screen to log in. Okay. So now it's logging into my oh, it didn't work. So now it's logging in. Once it logs in, I'll go to my control panel or my computer, and you can see that now it says that that's been installed. And then uh, I'll probably end this video off, and the next video will be to put in the graphic card in, which is the new GeForce GTX 1080. So I'm gonna go to my computer. Can I just hit right? If I hit properties, can I hit properties here? Okay. So if you right, cl right click on your uh, my computers, it now says I have 20 gigs installed. That's because I had uh, two eights in there that was 16. So 16 plus 4. Wait, 16 plus 4. That should have been more. Hmm. Oh, I see what happened. I don't know if I should do this, but the other memory card didn't get in slotted into the slot. And I just hit the fan in there. But yeah, so it, it got the one and just getting the second. So I'm going to shut the computer down. And in the next video, it will it'll have it all fixed. And I'm going to shut this thing down. So I'm just going to hit power. And shut down. Um, yeah, the one memory card in there didn't get in there all the way. So, um... That's why it didn't recognize the the two eight the two fours. It only recognized the one because the one was installed. Um, so that is pretty much how you install memory. Like I said, just it's important to know when it's on. I mean, you can open it up when it's on, but I noticed that the chip here is not inserted. So we're gonna wait for the power to shut off. Then then we're gonna disconnect the power. And then we are going to finish off getting that 
that memory card in and then uh, we'll do the memory card so it takes a minute for it to shut off um, yeah I didn't notice that it, it's still on And you know when it shuts off because the lights won't be on. These lights in here are very nice because they're blue. And um, it lights up the whole entire thing. There's also one in the front. Um, I'll show you those in a later video. Okay, there it goes. The power's off. So we're going to unplug this power adapter thing again. And let's get this memory installed. <laughs> okay. Don't fall down there. Alright. Okay. Is that in? No. Okay, there we go. Is it in? Okay. There we go. Oh, oh, that's not good. Ah, there. And then that one click in. And then the one on top. There we go. Um. So yeah, that should be installed now. Let's give it another power on. And just double check. Because, uh, this is an important thing to make sure it works before you try any other things to install. Um, because if something goes wrong here, I'll know. So there, it's powering back on. So it seems like that memory that I bought, uh-oh, it didn't. So, it's only, I think, interesting. So see what's happening, it's powering on and then powering off. That's a part of the switch. Um, remember I told you that it might not work? It's because of the memory in the computer. So the, the one was fine. Then when I installed the other one, there, it's suddenly probably with that memory. And you can see how hard this can be to figure out if you don't know what you're doing. Like I said, so when I installed the first one, it worked fine. These all clamped down. Let's try again. I'm having a feeling that it's the memory card that I just inserted. So let's try again. And that's the only thing about computers is if you try one thing it might not work and then if you try another thing it might. Yeah, so it's definitely the memory. So we're gonna just turn that off and I'm gonna take the memory out. Huh. Interesting. Now if I... Uh oh where did that... Oh, that came off the motherboard. Okay. And then if I slip it in the other way... Okay. Or maybe it was this. Because th wasn't this installed here? And this is by nothing. Maybe it was... Hmm. Because this doesn't seem to go in like that. L okay. Let's turn the... Okay, let's put the memory down. Turn it... See if it turns back on. Okay, it seems like it's working. Okay, so it did work that time. 
So I just hit the power button on top, which is not that good. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. Turn the power back on and the power. You can. You don't have to unplug it. I guess you can just turn it off. So now let's try this again. Waiting. Yeah. So what's going on is the memory um, insert. Is, if it's not in all the way. I think it might be the type of memory this is. So, that might, I don't know. I'm not sure. So, we're going to take this one memory card out. It could be the slot it's in. Um, I'm not too sure about what that is all about. So, we are going to stick this memory back in the case it came in. Um, for a later on video. Um, because we know... That it does power on with the one. So it could be the slots. And again, I don't know. But it could be the slots that each one is in. It might also need a, a better memory. I'm not sure. But it works with the 20. As you can see, it just came on. Um, so it does work with the 20. It does not work with both of the 4 and the 2 8s inside. Um, so, we just shut it off. I just shut off the power. So, that's what's going on here, is this other slot for memory is just not... Oh, that one should have been clipped in. But it's weird that it won't work. <laughs> so, let's try it one more time. So if I did that, that slipped right in. All right, power it on. Oh, turn the power back on. Power it on. Come on. It's not turning on in the monitor. So again, it's that last spot of memory. So we are gonna take this one memory out all right again because it will work with the other one I just don't want to mess around too much with this because I do know enough but obviously not enough to fix that um so it will work with the the one four plus the two eighteens that I have in there again I just got shocked by that fan but yeah there's two eights in here and one four so that's uh that it's 20 gigs now, uh, eventually, I could, if I wanted to, I could get two more eights, which, that's what I thought that I had in here, but er, I thought I had fours in here instead of eights, so I was a little confused with that. Um, so the next video, I'm going to shut this thing down again, and I'm just going to hit the power. The next video, we're going to do the graphic card. So I hope you guys are prepared and ready for that video. And as I normally say at my end of my videos, I'm gonna have to say... Bye.